going to put in a competitive time. The person that's going to compete against it the most is likely to be this lady. Henrietta oh, Fakasova from Slovakia, guided by Natalia Subatova. They wear matching outfits on the slopes. They wear matching moon boots off the slopes. The real dream team when it comes to Para Alpine and she's inside at the first time check. Fakasova has four goals so far from four events. Is this to be the ultimate Paralympic experience for the 31-year-old from Roznava? She took two away from Sochi, two disqualifications and a bronze. This one has been faultless. What a journey this has been so far. But they have half a course and still another run to go. And mistakes can happen at any time, but they are normally so, so good. And this is tight, though. Well, the last four goals that these ladies have won here, they've had some fairly big leads. I think that was more of a struggle than uh, their normal performances, but still as majestic as ever. A cast completed run from both of the British athletes. Puts pressure onto this lady, but she doesn't feel pressure. Henrietta Farkasova and Natalia Subatova. It has been problemless. It has been effortless. It has been beautiful to watch. These two, it's almost telepathic. Never mind the instructions through the helmet. Just as if they know what each is thinking. 0.72 is the gap. Patrick was 0.66 back after the first run, so in theory, we're already stretching out. But one mistake, one very uncharacteristic mistake, could be costly. She had a couple of falls during the World Cup season. Wasn't dominant in Sochi by any stretch of the imagination either. But for Kasava, the 31 year old, aiming to win all five medals here. Can she get 151 18? No! Well, that is sensational. Mena Fitzpatrick is the Paralympic champion. It just seemed to slow towards the bottom, and the unexpected can happen.